Hello and welcome back to another video. We are Omar and Andrea and we moved to Portugal to live in the countryside and enjoy a more sustainable lifestyle. We shipped all our belongings and are finally living here full time. This is our home, a 20 year old abandoned house with 3,400 square meters of land. We also have outbuildings which will be converted into living spaces. We bought a container for 2,500 euros, added a roof and an amazing floor which was before a threshing ground. We have been working hard for the past two years clearing the land, making some areas more secure and livable and restoring and renovating the outbuildings. At the moment, we are mostly working on our tiny home and the first outbuilding, which is my mom's room. In the last episode, you saw us working on the window lintel, doing window sales with our sister stones, started the tiling, working on the drainage and doing the plumbing for the bathroom. Today, we will be tackling different jobs again and doing some grouting, installing the worktops and appliances and have our first ever massive fail moment of our project. I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so it's a next day and today what I'm going to be doing is taking all of the crosses out, the dividers, spaces, and I'm going to be grouting that area. The reason why I'm not grouting all the way, I mean doing all the tiling all the way up is because I really need Omar to install the shower and then after that I can continue the rest and also install the toilet. So that's all should be happening very soon and also the cupboards. Okay, so Andrea is preparing a tile for me to cut a hole in. <laughs> you could say that. We're going to have a holy tile. Oh dear. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry, I can So you can, it's like in all of that. that. We just got this bit here. Luckily, we found our friend was in in the shop and he said this way we can we can definitely do it there are a whole cutters but they were 60 euros each this was 10 euros so let's give it a go take two <laughs> I'm gonna start opposite the corners of this. Man, I didn't put any pressure. Naturally, Omar went on to do another task after so many tries, so I had a go at it and I think this tool was a bit too harsh for this particular tile. So I decided to make the holes with it, but actually perforating the tiles with a mansory drill bit. I didn't film in the end, it took me forever. This is called perseverance. I'm gonna do the next one. The plan is to make it look like this. It's probably gonna take me again like 20 minutes. We needed a little bit of a break from the tiny room the toilet is in, so we moved on to the kitchen carcasses. When we received the EcoFlow power kit, the solar panels came with these really cool brackets, but we couldn't use them because they didn't fit the tiles. So we kept them and they came handy at the perfect time. We have a wooden post right underneath here. We planted everything on them. Yeah. Because it was all planned. They look like they were made for that. Look at you, well done. Um, that's done. That's not perfect. You see, there's a big gap in between. But to be honest, it's just fine. It's fine. We're a bit stressed. Oh, because it might not work. Oh, I just put some Teflon, Fita Teflon, how they call it here, or PTSD tape, like I call it, around the tubes. I call it PTSD because they're very annoying to do. <laughs> and this is really annoying. This, uh, just don't worry about that. If I'm okay with it, I'm not really okay with it. But there's nothing we can do at this stage. It's been a very stressful day. This is how 
how you do it. <laughs> I'm very nervous to turn the water on. I won't have, I don't know, it would take me a long time to fix that if it, because I have to take it all apart and put it back together. So we're going to turn it on. Okay. I tried my hardest, Andrea. Yes! It's leaking! Huh? It's leaking here. Okay. There's loads of water coming out. Oh shit. Oh, it's worse. Apologies for the messiness of this video. I don't know if the videos have gone down in quality so far. <laughs> Um, but it's just been very, very difficult to film beautiful shots of things. Especially um, in a tiny house. Yeah, I was just putting another washer. And a bit more... And PT a little bit more PTSD tape. <laughs> yes, I want... There's more leak. Okay, so we're being... Trying to fix this. It leaked and it's, it's just leaking constantly and it's just a mess. It's the first episode we have had here like this that is just, Omar is so frustrated. <laughs> Bless him. He's been trying to fix this for like two and a half hours. He just put a stop valve over here and he's going to have a shower because it's been such a hot day. It got to 36 today. We don't know what's happened so we have to cut over here to access this a little bit easier and put a stop valve. Um, but it was leaking like crazy. It just went over here from behind. So it was just a disaster. We put a lot of PTFE tape, Teflon tape, but it just doesn't work. And also you have two over here. Obviously the more connectors you have, the more chances you have of a problem. I went to a Facebook group called uh, DIY Building and Renovating in Portugal. And if you guys are interested in, you know, moving to Portugal or anything like that, it's a really interesting group. It's very active. So I just went in there and be like, help, what's going on? And everyone's like, don't get PTFE tape, get something called horse hair and those different options. There was another one which is like a purple top and looked like glue. Apparently a uh, PTFE here, well, they were saying that it's not very strong. Um, I don't know. So yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Hopefully tomorrow we continue, probably will. We're gonna probably do this instead to have a break from that. So here we have PTFE tape, which normally would work in such a great situation. And I have really, really struggled with it. So I'm now going to try a more traditional method. This stuff, which is, a, it's called horse hair. I, I hope there no horses were harmed in the removal of their hair. And then this stuff, which you kind of rub into the hair and wrap around. So I'm going to watch some videos on YouTube to see how it works. Icky. Icky. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all of this PTF. So yeah, it goes to the top, start from the bottom, 45 degree angle, and then wrap it around. So yeah, now put it in here, I guess. So now we need to get these so that they 
gonna match. Okay, I need to stick these tiles in. Okay, this is probably my fifth attempt. It seems like all the plumbing I do needs five times. I hope soon it will be four times. <laughs> Let's give it a go, please work. So far so good. I can't hear anything. Before you could hear like really, really quiet. Okay, I think we're good. So here we are in my mom's bathroom and I'm here to give you a little bit of a snippet of how her bathroom is going. It's actually almost finished. We're almost there. But I'm here to show you this amazing shower kit that's been given to us by Lefton. And we've all tried it and we all absolutely love it. So Omar is going to show you right now how easy it was to install it. So now I'm going to install the new Lefton shower unit onto our existing pipework. Okay, so I've got these donuts, so they obviously go in first. Alright, so we've put the, the donuts in, but we've just worked out that unfortunately our pipes are sticking quite far out of the wall. We have a, a gap over here, so luckily we've got silicon and we're going to fill in that. Here we go, hopefully they're aligned. Our new left on shower kit is an amazing addition to the bathroom. It's made of solid brass and nozzles made of anti-limescale silicone. It integrates four functions of a hand shower, a rainforest shower head, a sprayer and a water flow, which can be switched on with a simple button. It also has a multifunctional sprayer to easily clean your shower afterwards you're done. So this is the third product that we have received from Left, and I have to say that their products are so good in quality and they're very reasonable price. So if you would like to get your own shower kit like this one, you can go and scan the QR code right now that's on your screen, or you can go on the website link that is in the description below. And if you like to get your own, you can use our discount code INDIGO10 and you can get a 10% discount. I would like to thank Left on so much for giving us this product and is sponsoring the videos and uplifting the bathroom to the amazing quality that it is now. Thank you so much. Sorry for being really hot and sweaty right now. I've got my t-shirt back on, um, but it is mainly water because I splashed my face with water. So anyway, going back to this, I made the extra supports with the pocket holes and I'm just about to put these in over here. After I finish this, I'll be able to put on the kitchen top. Yay! Yay. <laughs>
You're doing great. Well done. Push! Push! <laughs> Steady she goes. Yes! Hi, Tan. Oh, hi, Tan. <laughs> oh, you're very sweaty. <laughs> Hey, bring out the beast. The beast is hungry. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I'm very excited. Just attaching the worktop right now, and I'm going to be doing this. A bit noisy. Noisy, ready? go for it. I'm just telling Omar, I will. I'm looking forward to the time we don't have to listen to drilling all the time. Anyway, I've done this before, good news. <laughs> so basically, we have like a silicon uh, applicator over here, very nice and thin. But these are beveled, so this will become a lot bigger. So we have to wait 20 minutes. And then with a wet sponge, we will be taking the excess out. So what I need to do right now is take all these bits out. So I'm gonna get a little nifty thing that I've got here. favorite things to do. Okay, so, so far we have added the sink yesterday and the cabinets is all done and then we just moved this cabinet that we had inside and we plunked it in here. This is actually going to go over here but we need to build that cabinet so we just have an off cut that we brought from England and we put it in there. There's actually going to be a table over here and on this side I've just been adding the last 
row of tiles and I'm just taking the last piece of wood that went in there and then I can grab all of these and all of these. I need to add some tiles at the end there. They're just a little bit too small so I've just been putting that off really. So on this day we continue working on the tiny home. We finished installing the sink. We installed the water drop filtration system. We also installed the left hand kitchen faucet. By the way, I'll leave the links below for those products in the description below and their respective discounts. While Omar was working on the kitchen, I grouted the other walls. Well, I've kept going with the grouting and there's two things that I have to say about this. The package says to wait 20 minutes for the sponging to take it off and it's way less than that if you are in a hot place. It's really hot in here, it's probably over 30 degrees. So you can actually tell that it's drying as you're putting it on. You can also maybe put a little bit more water so the drying process is a bit slower. Going in. Look at that. It's straight. Mm -hmm. And I can still jiggle that a bit, but. But it's not needed. No. And this is what kind of. Uh, Ash. Ash. The wood. Try and install the toilet, and um, it's going to be interesting. Why didn't we put the toilet this way? I asked the same thing. There is a joist here. We could have put it through the wall, but then we wouldn't have had access to the back. Oh my, didn't want to put a pipe there because we need access for like the, the walls and so on. We have that thing that's gonna go over there. We finished the toilet. Okay, so that's been done. It's all connected. Omar did that. I'm just gonna pour some water there and see if it leaks or not. Hopefully, it doesn't. I'm gonna open the water. Is it leaking? Ooh! Do we have a toilet, Andrea? Do we have a toilet? Can we now go? And use the toilet. Oh no, this is dry. Oh my god! Yes! We have a toilet! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Next to do was to continue the rendering, finishing the pointing of the windowsill outside, installing the internal windowsills and enjoy the fruits of our harvest. But that's for another day. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you very soon.